What's good, YouTube? We back in the basketball trenches with some more good content. And today we got another banger. For those who don't know, Shade and Sharp, he got he out with a what's it called? A labral tear in his shoulder. 10 to 14 days, no summer league basketball. Pretty much no basketball at all for, for the last eight months, as King Cash tweeted. We haven't even seen him play a college game. It's like a lot to consider, especially for the Portland Trailblazers, but we're going to get into all of that. I ain't going to chat too much for y'all. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all drops. And make sure you tap into the website, bboltrenches.info. So, for the most part, we got to factor in the recent unsuccessful seasons the Portland Trailblazers had. We got to factor in Damian Lillard's age, his health, we got to factor in that whole team. And then they make this draft pick at the seventh spot, drafting a player who, who's never even seen a college, seen minutes in a college basketball game. And we wanted to just break this down for you guys and let you guys know, like, our take on it is not going to change. He finessed the Portland Trailblazers. The Portland Trailblazers got finessed. And the big question now is, are the Trailblazers really trying to help Damian Lillard? So King Cash, he elaborated on this topic, and I got him here for y'all today to elaborate on it furthermore. King Cash, take the floor, my brother. Your boy, your shit boy, King Cash here, yeah, man. We're back with another one. NBA but yeah, content. what is the Portland Trailblazers doing right now for Damian Lillard? He already proved this week that he's a loyal. He's the most loyal basketball player they can act for. Signed another deal, extended his contract for another two years so that he puts five years on his contract. And then they draft with the number seven pick, Shaden Shaw. Now, what do we know about him? Not much other than his AAU highlights. And he's a, from what we see in those, he's a high flyer, very athletic. What, about six, seven, six, eight. Good wingspan. But other than that, we don't know much about him. And he has a, a good, good shot on him. He played five NBA minutes. Got up one shot. He made his one shot. Nice turnaround. Spin, spin around, turn around, jump shot mm, on the baseline. I hit think that that's shot. the only highlight we got for him too right now. He hit that shot and then went out the game. We all like, what happened? He then has the workout shirt on. So the commentators are wondering why he was sitting on the bench and what's going on. If he was going to find some more information out. Find out that he hurt his left shoulder. How? That's crazy. That's kind of like, like the worst thing he could even like wish for anybody to get hurt in the first five minutes of the summer league. And you haven't been playing basketball since you went to Kentucky. And we're not saying this to say that it's over for him. You know, he still has a fighting chance. Everybody, every player has a chance of retribution. But with Damian Lillard's current position on the team right now and how he feels how he wants to uh, contend for a championship it starts to like you got to ask the question like all right what are they doing you know like cash it like what are they doing what's going on they acquired jeremy grant this offseason that's a kind of good acquisition damian lillard approved of that acquisition but is that acquisition really going to get them over the hump because he just, Jeremy Grant just was in Detroit, balling out. But how was Detroit this year? And he was their number one, number two score, or number one, number two option. Yeah, he had 19 for the so season for them. Him coming to Portland, trying to help Dame and Nurkic, a healthy Nurkic, a healthy Dane. And then with the seven pick, you will hope they get somebody that could 
try to come in and jump start the, the the car and get it back going back into the playoffs, but who knows? We're gonna have to see with a player like Shaden Sharp. Hopefully he's what the Portland Trailblazers are looking for and what they was what they was banking on with this seventh pick. Or they gonna be another lottery pick after this year. And to elaborate on that, just to let the fans know, there's teams like the Orlando Magic, OKC, Sacramento Kings, and I'm going to throw them in there. These are 15th seed, 13th seed teams that might just find their way into a playing spot in the next three, four, three, four years, you know. So with Dame getting older and with Nurkic health, it's always questionable. They only got, if you ask me, they only got a Fernie Simons, Simmons. And then with the addition of Shaden Sharp, if he can sh- show some talent on the basketball court, then things will look good for them. But as of right now, I'll take on the Portland Trailblazers. They got finesse for that seventh pick. Shaden Sharp walked away with a bag. Dane walked away with a bag. And it's looking very unfortunate. But we're going to have more highlights for you guys. And until then, we're not going to continue the chitter chatter or the gibberish. We just gonna keep posting this good content. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all content. Let's get it. People trenches. NBA news and content.